Step into the world of the 1932 film directed by Frank Capra. Get ready for a journey through the ups and downs of the story. We'll uncover some surprising facts and behind the scenes moments. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the movie, there's something for everyone. Ever wondered about the special moments that make this movie stand out? Stay tuned for some surprises. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. Share your favorite memories or experiences related to this classic. Your input matters. Get ready for an insightful journey into this timeless film where every scene has a story and leaves a mark. In 1932, a film called The Bitter Tea of General Yen hit screens and caused quite a stir. Directed by Frank Capra, it got mixed reviews at first. Some liked how it showed love between people of different races, while others didn't like the controversial topic. But despite that, the movie left a big mark on culture. The story about a Chinese warlord, General Yen, and an American missionary, Megan Davis, made people think about love, race, and differences between cultures. People talked a lot about it and thought deeply. After the movie came out, lots of other things were made based on it, like books, plays, and even clothes. People loved the characters and stories from the movie, and they showed up in lots of other things too. People started collecting stuff related to the movie, like posters and things. And because of this movie, other shows and movies started talking more about love in different cultures too. In short, the bitter tea of General Yen might have had its critics, but it definitely made a mark on culture. It got people thinking about love and differences between people in a whole new way. The Bitter Tea of General Yen, a 1932 film, stands out for its depiction of Dorothy's Auntie M in The Wizard of Oz, where she played a crucial role. Moreover, a lead actor, often recognized for refined, upper-class characters and a British-sounding accent, played a prominent role in the movie. The film's creation is connected to Frank Fay, who met Stanwyck through his friend Oscar Levant. Stanwyck, formerly a chorus girl, had recently gained acclaim for her first Broadway role in Burlesque. Fay and Stanwyck, who married in 1928, performed together as Fay and Stanwyck at the Palace in 1929. Subsequently, they were summoned to Hollywood for Fay's starring role in the film Show of Shows. The bitter tea of General Yen marked a significant point in the careers of the lead actress from The Wizard of Oz and the actor known for his British-sounding roles. The film's production also intertwined with the personal and professional lives of Frank Fay and Stanwyck. The Bitter Tea of General Yen, released in 1932, experienced commercial failure partly due to its ban in Britain. Despite this setback, the film remains notable for its portrayal of cultural tensions and romantic themes. One of its actors, Barbara Stanwyck, gained recognition for her role in Double Indemnity in 1944, ranking 8 on the American Film Institute's 100 Greatest Screen Heroes and Villains list. Her performance also earned accolades, placing 98 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time list in 26, and 58 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time list. The film industry also faced personal tragedies. One such instance was Clara Blandig, who played a role in The Bitter Tea of General Yen. Suffering from severe arthritis and impending blindness, Blandig took her own life by overdosing on sleeping tablets and using a plastic bag. Her poignant suicide note reflected her unbearable pain and her decision to embrace death. Despite its initial commercial struggle, the bitter tea of General Yen remains a significant entry in film history, addressing complex themes and showcasing the talents of its cast. In the 1932 film, The Bitter Tea of General Yen, Barbara Stanwyck starred alongside Linda Evans in two TV series, The Big Valley and Dynasty. Stanwyck's life story fills a 1,000-page biography written by Victoria Wilson in 2013, covering only the first 33 years of her life. Stanwyck got honored for her work in Western movies when she was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in 1973. This shows how good she was in Western films. In The Bitter Tea of General Yen, she shows her acting skills in a dramatic story. But this film is just one piece of her big collection of work. She was also in other movies and shows. Barbara Stanwyck's influence goes beyond just this movie. Her work with Linda Evans and her induction into the Hall of Great Western Performers show how important she was in the world of entertainment. To sum up, The Bitter Tea of General Yen tells us a lot about Barbara Stanwyck's talent. It's just one part of her big career. The Bitter Tea of General Yen showcases a pre-code sensibility evident in the gradual attraction between the lead characters. Megan, portrayed by Barbara Stanwyck, observes Ma Lai tending to General Yen's knees, hinting at a sexual invitation through subtle gestures. 
Director Frank Capra effectively conveys Yen's preference for Megan, Megan's fear and disgust, and Ma Lai's realization of being supplanted by the white woman, all without dialogue. Stanwyck's penchant for praising fellow actors was evident during her Golden Globes acceptance speech in 1984, where she lauded Anne Margaret's performance in a different category, showcasing her reputation for recognizing others' talent. In the original novel by Grace Zaring Stone, the character Jones, played by Walter Connolly, was named Schulz. The bitter tea of General Yen, despite its grandeur and pedigree, surprisingly received no Academy Award nominations. Not even its masterfully wrought art direction, which recreated the majestic palaces and teeming streets of the Chinese uprising, earned recognition. According to the, the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, 1986-1990, pages 796-798, the bitter tea of General Yen offers a glimpse into the tumultuous times it depicts. In Italy, nearly all of the lead actresses' films were dubbed by Lydia Simonski, with occasional dubbing by Tina Latenzi and Marcella Rovna. However, as Leona Stevenson in Sorry Wrong Number, she was uniquely dubbed by Andrea Pagnani, marking the only time the Italian actress lent her voice to the lead actress. Barbara Stanwyck, a famous actress known for her many roles, was once considered for the part of Scarlett O'Hara in the 1939 movie Gone with the Wind. However, another actress got the role instead. In one episode of the first season of The Big Valley, called Tunnel of Gold, Stanwyck's character, Victoria Barkley, shared a bit of her own life story. Like her character, Stanwyck lost both her parents when she was young and was raised in a foster home. This personal connection added authenticity to her role. After she passed away, Stanwyck was cremated at the Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, NY, and her ashes were scattered at sea. This simple ending marked the end of her journey. To sum up, Barbara Stanwyck was considered for famous roles, and her personal experiences influenced her character's background. She was cremated, and her ashes scattered at sea when she died. The bitter tea of General Yen is notable for its directorial flair and unique photographic techniques. Director Frank Capra employed creative methods, such as shooting with a silk stocking over the lens to create a diffused, romantic atmosphere. To achieve clearer images when necessary, a cigarette was used to burn a hole in the stocking. This approach was unusual for Capra, who typically employed more straightforward filming techniques. The film includes a surrealistic dream sequence, which was a departure from Capra's usual style. Additionally, there's a scene where an optical printer is used to superimpose images of riots over Megan's face, intensifying her emotional turmoil. Megan's real-life older brother, Malcolm Byron Stevens, has a role as a courtroom defense aide in another Capra film, The File on Thelma Jordan. The surreal, impressionistic dream sequence was deemed necessary at the time to convey Megan's sexual attraction to the Chinese general, as it was thought to be the only way American audiences would accept this information. In summary, The Bitter Tea of General Yen stands out for its directorial flair, unique photographic techniques, surreal dream sequence, and notable scene featuring an optical printer. These elements contribute to the film's distinctiveness within Capra's body of work.